So what we have learned? We have learned about the meaning and functions of central bank. What, is, what are the functions? One of the major being making a monetary policy for the country where through quantitative and qualitative ways it tries to control the credit. Then central bank versus commercial bank. It, the central bank does not deal with the public. It does not have a profit motive and it looks about the overall functioning of the commercial banks. What role it has, what importance it has, it helps the governments, it helps the banks and what are its functions. It issues currency, follows a minimum reserve system for issuing currency. It issues all the notes except one rupee note which is issued by the Ministry of Finance. Then the Indian monetary policy which is formulated by RBI, the central bank and it talks about the quantitative measures which controls the quantity that is the bank rate which is also known as the discount rate, open market operations, variable cash reserves and repo rate and purchase rate and then there are qualitative measures which controls a selective section through direct action, moral suasion, changing the margin requirements, it tries to control credit. So with this we come to the end of money and banking, hope you enjoyed it, hope there are many new things that you learned and keep studying and keep enjoying your studies. Thank you.